Okay, I got a pretty cool question from uh, somebody on the on the channel, and it was um, basically how do you do how do you rotate a box in perspective? Um, so first, let's look at what that rotation entails, and we're gonna draw that um, basically through a series of, of you know five individual little drawings. First, we're gonna look at it from above, right? So we're looking down on these. I'm gonna kind of color code this too. So surface, surface, surface. So here we've got side one, which we're looking at. And we wanna turn it and see side two, eventually, as we turn it 90 degrees. So here, We've got our little vision cone, and we see at the 45, we see um, side one is now turning this way, and then side two is over here. Then if we turn just a little bit, we see a lot of a lot more of that side. We do the top. We see a bunch of the blue side. We see a sliver of side two. Then over here, we turn it. And we see a bunch of this side. Here we're like kind of turning 22 and a half, 45, getting into 67 and a half, and then back to 90. Okay. So, we, so looking down on it, we kind of get this this diagram. So what I like to do is work on things flat to figure it out. If you can figure it out flat then it's going to be a little bit easier to translate it into actual um, dimension. So we did uh, our flat from the top, and that helps us a lot. And then second, we're going to do uh, flat from the side. Um, so we're going to start flat this way. We start with the box. And remember, we're seeing this side, right? So we see 100% that side. On the opposite end, we want to see side two. We want to see this side. So we can go ahead and hit our goal. Right in the center, we want them to be 50-50. That was a bad 50-50, that's better. So we want to rotate and we want to be 50-50. So, 50, 50. And over here, we want to see a sliver of the new side and a bunch of the old side and the opposite over here. We want to see a sliver here. mostly blue, then we want to see a sliver of blue over here as we rotate here. Cool. So now we've figured this out in terms of flat from the top and flat from the side. So we're being able to rotate this around, right, as, as we go through. So I think fixing these degree points is really what helps uh, when you're figuring stuff like this out. Um, and drawing this from multiple angles, multiple attempts helps you. So one of the things that we want to do is go back um, to our two-sided box, right? So that's going to be the next goal. Again, the two-sided box when we're facing it is still just a regular box, and it's going to wind up being a regular box over here as well. So we're going to hit our goal points again. So we're going to start doing one side here, 
on the other side here. And again, we're gonna do our 45 right in the center, right? Perfectly symmetrical box. And we want to see blue on a little bit of blue on the right side, even with our orange on the left. Okay. Then over here, we want a sliver of orange and a lot of blue. Sliver of orange, a bunch of blue. And over here, we want the opposite. Because we're rotating, right? We want a fair amount of orange, sliver of blue. So now we've taken this box and we've started to rotate it around, right? And we've rotated it in perspective back onto itself. Okay, so this is situation number three. So this and number three, we're getting into a dimension. And then situation number four is where we're going to get into uh, seeing three sides of the box. This time, we're gonna start with the box where we can see the top just a little bit, right? And we're gonna shoot again box over there. So we're going to go blue for our blue side. Same thing, orange for the other side. And we're going to add the top back in from our overhead demo. And again, we have to go into the center, make our box even on both sides. So that we can see our top. We've got our orange side on the left, the side we're headed towards. We've got our blue side on the right. And then we do this again. So we go over here. We want to see a bunch of blue. We want to see a sliver of orange. And we want to see our top. So we go top. We want to see this sliver of orange. A bunch of blue. And there we go. And then let's rotate it over here. So we want to see a bunch of orange, right? We want to see a sliver of blue. And we want to see the top. So we got the top, we got a bunch of orange coming in, we have a sliver of blue, and then we rotate fully. So there we go. So we're able to take this box, you know, start rotating it around, rotating it around, rotating it around rotating it around. And essentially, if you can figure out how to do this flat, you're going to be able to figure out how to do this dimensionally, right? Because all of, all of this drawing stuff is basically figuring out how to translate flat into dimension.